find me, Smalls. I've never seen this before where you can get money online from strangers like and that people will act I didn't know that was a thing right and um and I think that um that's just new to a lot of us not just me that's new to a lot of us coming in here and so people come in with good hearts and good intentions and they get screwed over because there's you know professional people out here who've done this for years and you know have had lots of luck getting the newbies to sign off on their you know sad story and um right for money the least i can do is show where that money is going to i know that if i asked for money right i would absolutely the next thing on my to-do list would be to get you some kind of receipt i hate that word but an actual receipt right. so that you know where your money went so that you could write it off your taxes or whatever you want to do with that. You know what I mean? Like you deserve to have that back from me because you gave me money. So I just, you know, I should be it. I should be not even have to ask. You just shouldn't have to ask me. I should just provide that. But I'm just saying that when people do come and ask for money, do we have the right if we are donating to ask them? to see the receipt of what absolutely absolutely I mean, yes absolutely the question is how do you do it and not totally offend the person right well i and think it's a fair i think it's a fair it. request um I, I think there is nothing wrong with asking for receipts the recipient should give them without even being asked that would be the right thing to do yeah that's what i would do um, I would do that just because I would want you to feel comfortable with the fact that you gave money and I would be so thankful to you that you've done that. I would want to give you something back. And if the only thing I can give you back is proof, then that's all I can give you. You know what I mean? Then I'd be glad to do that. Um, I wouldn't even want you to have to ask me for it. I would want to give you um, something back because my thank you, you know, I think you would probably be all I'd have at the moment. And so, you know, at least I could do is give you proof so that your heart is rested. We have an accountant. They will, and, and I know other people that I've spoken to have an accountant who will say, you know, if you're going to um, donate, I advise you to do it this way so that the money is only being used for this. Um, and look, I'm going to be honest with you, but uh, I'm not going to go into you know, who I donate to and who I don't donate to. But uh, the first time that I was going to donate to someone online, my husband, who is very, you know, very skeptical of everything, uh, said to me, well, get a receipt um, for whatever it was. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, now that I think about it, I think that he's right. Um, yeah. And I think you can do it in a kind way to not hurt the person's feeling by saying that, you know, I need it for my accountant. I, you know, I need to keep track of where my money is going. You know, really great supportive people in here. Donations are coming in for St. Jude, so I feel. Donations are coming in for St. Jude, so I feel. Um, I end up feeling guilty. Who have given me super cash money, not donations. Everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect for St. Judas. Who have given me super cash money, not donations. Everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect for St. Judas. Who have given me super cash money, not donations. Everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect for St. Judas. Who have given me super cash money, not donations. Um, well, everybody knows that I'm a, a very big supporter of St. Jude, and I have been for over 20 years, and my channel is about donating to St. Jude. So, if you feel so inclined, to um you know put a donation into my paypal because my super chat is off uh because i was demonetized we all know about that but molly also uh supports uh saint jude as a charity as well so that's what we're doing tonight this is for fun and for charity but giving me super chat money not donations
everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect the computer. Who have given me super chats? I mean, not donations. Everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect the computer. Who have given me super chats? I mean, not donations. Everybody, lose the fucking word donation. I don't even collect the computer. Who have given me super chats? I mean, not donations. Definitely. I think I it think is. a lot and of times you angry when you find out that there are like actual professional scammers out there that have I think a lot yeah of money from a lot of people yeah. and they've been they've been able to get away with it for a long time um, until someone finally called them out and um, you know it yeah they know what they're doing they know they do they know exactly what they're doing yeah. they know yes. what to say and they had to be smooth about it yep and, yep yeah uh, you know put on the whole. Um, you know, sympathy, you know, they the, play the sympathy card, they know how to talk around it. And, um, and that's where some people go wrong because they don't know the signs of someone yeah. who is a scammer. This might be unpopular, but I don't understand why someone who chooses to be a YouTube creator would ask for donations. They have a channel, create content, by their own choice. Um, well, like I said in the beginning, someone is a YouTube creator. I think that some people who become, like I, I don't want to make money off of YouTube, but there are some people that do want to earn extra money off of YouTube. Let's face it, some YouTube creators have become millionaires because they keep creating content, but in the beginning, they might need uh, donations to help them to create that content, to make better videos, to make better content. Because if you're going to be a YouTube creator, if you don't have good content, people are not going to watch you anymore. Um, so I don't have anything against people having Patreon accounts, um, having their PayPal up there. If people want to, uh, you know, donate super chats, I think is a ripoff now because. <coughs> You know, YouTube is taking too much money. Her real, her big gripe was, why am I not doing PayPal? Because she didn't like the fact that YouTube was getting her money. It's called business, honey. That's what it's called business. YouTube gives me a platform and uh, they get their cut. That's the way it works. That's business. If you don't, if you don't like it, take it up with YouTube. Uh, but that's the way I'm going to do it. And uh, she insisted that we do PayPal. And then if she, of course, she moved on to our wish list, calling Wendy and I frauds. Uh, she's not a well woman. Uh, I don't want to have any dealings with her. But if she continues on the path she's going, um, I will, you know, strike every channel every time she goes live. 